Well, here we are. I got something new in the mail today. Uh, this is a cross code for the Switch. Uh, this game is not new. <laughs> it's kind of new for the Switch, but uh, it's been around on PC for a very, very long time. Uh, a few years or so, I think. But I was kind of interested in it. And uh, yeah, so this uh, came from Strictly Limited Games. With that being said, this isn't from the States. Uh, this was actually shipped from Germany, which is kind of where they uh, do a lot of their distribution sort of stuff. Now, this is basically the game. It's been all sealed, and um, they basically had a uh, steel case. Kind of on the uh, outside there. Yeah, you can see GmbH. That certainly uh, shows that it's uh, German in nature. But, uh, yeah, nice steel book for the uh, Switch game. And then this guy basically has a uh, little uh, slip cover sort of thing going on here. There we go. Um, that's got, uh, you know, more of the information and uh, some mountains and whatnot on the back. And then it's got magnetic flip. So, hey, we got, like, a whole bunch of different characters in the game. Um, first thing you can see is, uh, you got the soundtrack. Uh, this is, uh, two discs. Kind of let you, uh, take a look there. Don't really have anything going on on the, uh, the inside. It's not really a, a foldable sort of thing, just a little inset. And then, piece of artwork, because why not? But, yeah. Two disc soundtrack set. Uh, the next one, I've actually kind of reassembled these a little bit because they were a, a little astray. This is a whole bunch of stickers. And it's probably basically a lot of these characters here. I'll go through them in a little bit here. You got a uh, rubber keychain with the uh, main character there, apparently saying hi. Kind of cute. And, uh, and we have um, the full art book and this is uh really really well done really nicely printed um very nicely bound it doesn't really feel super fragile like uh, a lot of limited edition hardcover end up feeling because of uh you know less than stellar um binding procedures because uh while well, they're trying to uh, save money when making a limited edition so there you go Yep, you can see Strictly Limited, Deck 13, and Radical Fish. So, yeah, there's that. Next up, we have a, uh, a poster. And this is a one-sided poster. For some people, that's fun. For others, it's kind of nut. Yeah, you kind of got that going on down there. But, yeah, it's just basically kind of the uh, main cast going on there. Same thing as the book, just to a larger extent. And then inside you got uh, the uh, switch cartridge inside, basically the uh, foam sort of thing here. I've already opened this up. Um, you can see it's all nice and white on the inside. Um, but you can reverse cover it. There you go. I still have the cartridge. And as you can see, it's... Uh, it's Peggy 12. It's not um, ESRB rated or anything. So, uh, yeah, this is very much a European product, but uh, that's perfectly fine because uh, the Switch is region free. Kind of wish that was the case with um, 3DS, but for whatever reason, they finally came around to it. But, yeah, here's a uh, little insert sort of thing. I don't know why it says controls when. Uh, Right next to it, it just uh, kind of explains a little bit. You got the controls on the back side, though. That's there. Nice that they use the, uh, the Switch Pro controller rather than uh, showing the Joy-Cons. And then you got the game manual. It's, um, it's about 18 pages long. But, yeah, nice full color. Printed nicely. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is, um, yeah, these were limited to uh, 2,000. Mine is uh, 
twelve twenty. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, those are put on at the uh, the time of printing. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting set of stuff. I should actually put the on the manual and whatnot back in the uh, back in the case here. Did, however, take the cartridge out because I plan on playing it fairly soon here. Toss the uh, uh, poster back in there. There goes the uh, book. All right. So, yeah. A lot of these were uh, scattered around inside the box. Probably, you know, crazy shipping from uh, Germany. But uh, I believe this is a whole bunch of characters from the game. These are um, very thin um, stickers, so it's uh, not exactly, um, you know, super premium or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I got enough other stuff kind of going on here. Got her being all smug. And uh, some of these are a little bit curled uh, because... A lot of them fell out, and then this kind of um, kind of did this little number in the uh, the bottom of it. So I've basically um, kind of slid all of them back into here, and hoping that uh, it'll just kind of uh, even itself out uh, after a little while of uh, being back where it's supposed to be. Already seems to have helped from uh, this afternoon, so that's good. Oh, come on, man. Alright, well, you know what? I can deal with that a little bit later, so you don't have to watch me fiddle and fumble about. But, uh, yeah, very, very nice premium box. Reminds me uh, quite a bit of um, Sayonara Umahale Kawase. Umahara, I would say, or um, the uh, Summon Knight 6, that, that kind of um, style box uh, with, uh, yeah, nice quality um, magnetic uh, thing. Uh, I think you probably could stuff the steel box in there, but it didn't come with it. But it fits, so, yeah, maybe they uh, changed their mind um, after they had... Uh, already placed the order for these or something i'm not sure but uh yeah super neat um i should have uh, quite a bit of fun on uh, playing these sort of things um this one's uh i believe fairly challenging platform but um wizard of uh shoot there's another game kind of similar to this um Wizard of something or other. Wizard of Legend. I think that was it. Um, but yeah, kind of fairly challenging. Um, top down, maybe a little um, side down kind of action. So yeah, should have quite a bit of fun over this. Um, like I said, I've actually had it for the PC for a long time. It actually runs off of the HTML5 or something weird like that on the PC. Which makes it a little weird for um, trying to... Uh, stream if you're um, using a steam in-home streaming or something like that so this would be a little bit better way to uh, actually play it on a couch instead of uh, in front of a computer screen which is where i spend almost all of my life anyway so it's nice to get away from it from time to time <laughs> Alrighty, well that's cross code from uh, strictly limited games and uh yeah i hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day yo